Hey, what's up, you guys? My name's Emma. Today I'll be reacting to The Ancient Magus Pride Season 2, Episode 4. Anyways, let's get started with this real quick. So, you know, we'll let it start off and I can talk during the opening, maybe. But yeah, um, let's get started with this in the count of 3, 2, 1, now. Oh, there was actually some questions about it. Hey, yeah, okay, okay. And we get thrown into this area. What's happening? Huh? It's... Okay. Yeah, no, this is actually... No, no, no I think this is exactly leading up to the, like, master's place, right? Yeah, you've seen it before in memories. Oh, okay. Hello there. Hello there. Rahab. Demon of the Sea. Okay. No. Oh, okay. That's what that um, moment was. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. <laughs> now that's a question. Into the opening, though, because of course, gotta leave you on a moment of suspense, huh? Yeah, that, that one moment in this opening, what what are they how are they treating Philomela? I'm sorry. I'll I'll stay on that until we get to it. But are we gonna get to learn a little bit more about Elias? Because I know this is definitely gonna be like I imagine almost like a trial. I would think, you know? It's like, okay, who are you, you know? to this person, and then, like, just seeing the answers and maybe testing resolve? I don't know. All I know is it's good to know Stella's gonna be okay. <laughs> that is, you know, always a worry. <laughs> when it comes to people who aren't super into the sorcery or, uh, magic. Uh, for one, you may notice right here it's free of a uh, PC. It's very. I'm bringing this up for a reason, because I'm looking more this way. Because I I got a new monitor. There was a. To even pause, it wants me to really suffer through this lag. Ah, <sighs> it's fine. It does not make the. I'm blocking my screen for reference. That is always good. Oh, really? <laughs> I love that look. Though, very important question. Why Why does he, uh, you know, he mentioned how he felt different about uh, Stella back then. <laughs> okay. 
Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ruth. Nice saving. Okay. Death. It was, in fact, his idea. Mm -hmm. There's a look on her face here. Hmm. <laughs> it was a later development, but yes. In the mood to call someone by their name. Okay. It's a nice little place here. <laughs> you never know Ruth might be a nice treat hmm? <laughs> your grandma way back home Mm, yeah, no, there is an air about her. Very tiny. Mm hmm. Okay. Asking for teachings and guidance, yeah. That's kind of sad. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Learning everything and anything from you. Mm hmm. Damn, that probably... Mm -hmm. No, you helped him out a lot.
to help one another. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's kind of like that but you know oh yeah <laughs> no 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 that certainly stuck with him hmm It's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Chisei can work with it, you know? Hmm, okay. Back to him. Understandable. Mm-hmm. That is one of her big uh, things that she just can't... Well, she's trying, but it's hard for her to work past. that won't allow that to get broken. <laughs> yes. Mm. I wonder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, not all the time, but yeah. He held on to what you taught him. I was not prepared for my eyes to water like this.
Mm -hmm. It means a lot, genuinely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still kind of omitting some information, but, you know. Oh, hey, Stella, I'm so sorry you were lost. <laughs> mm hmm. It was crazy, huh? That was a nice visit. Like, I, I didn't think anything bad would come from uh, the master calling her. Oh, oh. Are you going to actually take it? Mm -hmm. Or are you testing? What are you doing? I'm so intrigued. Okay, uh-huh. What's the testing for, then? No, I want to know more. A guide? Where are you going? <laughs> Sounds like something that does happen. Mm hmm. Phone booth. Yeah, they look very not safe. That is so true. Jesus. Ominous much? Okay. Oh. The scary ones. The scary ones. Hello? Yikes, okay. The eye is creepy as fuck. I wouldn't do that.
Oh, that must be so creepy. <laughs> yep, yep. I can only imagine the horrors that would happen if you actually don't listen to them. Mm hmm. Okay, made it on time. Hello there. Hmm. Might be different. You never know. Behind all that, he is very innocent when you think about it. I wanted to know the answer. Okay. Um. What was that ability? Lucy. What was that about? <laughs> Come on, I want to know more. I'm so intrigued, but I get... I get I feel like I was so quiet during that. I feel like I might have talked even more the other day, even though, as I mentioned back then, I, I was beyond exhausted. But I don't know. The, the conversation between the master... I'm sorry. Her name was there and I forgot it. I'm mad at myself for that. But that was so interesting, along with like bringing into the question on like, how Elias is like viewing it what was his intentions going in to the whole situation not that it matters like not that it like would change Chise's thoughts on the situation but it is cool that she wants to know and then the stuff with Philomela and even Lucy now like I was interested in Lucy but her what's going on why is she trying to check things for magic uh like like what's she checking for she's just like you know it's regular tea imbued with some magic what else is supposed to be there that you know is very important to look into and and what was that ability like she seemed like to be made of smoke kind of hi you two Oh, oh, it did that. All of that was a very interesting uh, discussion and topic because I, I didn't quite know how this conversation would go, but it is interesting to learn where, you know, Elias got most of his mannerisms from because it, it is true. Um, it it's such a familiar vibe from this whole conversation, like little actions here and there. And, and to know that he learned it all here. And while she may have thought, you know, she wasn't even able to teach him how to smile, this and that he's clearly found through, you know, all that time spent with her. Um, I like this comfortable pattern of uh, activities. He's clearly enjoying it. It's a nice little, day-to-day -day rhythm that clearly brings him at least some contentment, some normalcy. And while she may not have completely been able to, you know, get him to understand or know everything, it is good that, you know, she gave him such a good foundation, such a good 
idea of like maybe what he'll find comfortable because I believe through all of these years that they've probably been separated, he would have picked up on other things that other people did and maybe changed some of the things. And he wouldn't have stuck so closely with what he went through here if it wasn't for him really actually enjoying that, thinking it was a comfortable routine or anything like that. That's my opinion and all this and that. But that's just my genuine thoughts on that is, it shows just how much of an impact she had, whether she thinks she did an amazing job or not. She didn't fail as a teacher. It's just she taught him all she could, and it was now on to him to find another person who can, you know, explain in even further detail, like be there to really explain it in a way that maybe he'll understand it better, really know it. And uh, I, I think that's what is really important and cool. It's like, it's not about really how much, like it's not about making them understand completely. It's sometimes the basics, the foundation that is the most important to get into someone's head or at least give them the idea of, because with that, they can grow in any, any direction they want. They have the basics down and now it's up to them to really, you know, put it to good use and decide for themselves what they want to be. And I really like that a lot. And I'm sorry I don't have a lot to say because I feel like this was a definite build-up episode, you know, with the stuff after the talk with the Master and showing us stuff with... Was it... R Zoe? I'm, I, I'm trying. I haven't rewatched the episodes yet. I'm supposed to. I, I'll definitely do that later on. Maybe even later today. But um, I'm pretty sure Zoe... I believe. Um, I, I could be wrong. I have another name in my head, but I, I'm just going to stick with the one name for now because it could be wrong both times. But with him, it's interesting. He says he feels the most comfortable with his uh, earmuffs like that and goggles. And I'm not trying to look into the preview. I've already done enough, so I'm not going to speculate it here. But what does that quite entail? Like, what is it, like, it could just obviously be soothing anxiety, this and that, but I, I'm also just curious about the response coming from Philomela when she's clearly eavesdropping, which maybe she just does. Um, whether, you know, she's doing it of her free will to find stuff out, or maybe if she's, like, you know, doing it to give answers to someone else, I don't know. But she was clearly eavesdropping, and she was definitely doing that when Chise was in there as well. And for Zoe to um, be in there and ask about any new student, like, you know, like, mentioning Chise and stuff like that, and just the little gasp, that, like, quiet moment. Especially after seeing, like, her clearly testing the tea and, like, stuff like that, like, what is this? And it's just some magic. Um, it, it's, it's so... It's such a mystery, you know? I, I wish I could just put the details together right now, but I can't. And I would really... I'm really excited for when we go further into it. And then Lucy, though. Like, we see a spider, we see them doing stuff, and she's clearly, like, it, distressed. She's very distressed. And I want to know her backstory as well. Like, I, I thought she was going to go through, like, be through some stuff via the ending and you know she's Chisei's roommate for heaven's sake there's gonna be something but I don't think I'm I'm like ex I wasn't expecting this like very deep-seated like there's gonna be some trauma here which maybe I did start thinking about initially when with Lucy always sitting away from her class you know by herself and when she was looking on she was saying it's so sad that they're being friends like what's the point we're gonna be enemies in the end anyways Leading up to, like, what what gave Lucy this thought? Why are we going to be enemies at the end of the day? Why is it pointless to be friends here? Um, I just don't know. And it's just so interesting. And I, I'm super excited to find out what all of it entails, all of it means. But for now, in the sake of less rambling and chaos, and I just want to really hear your guys' theories, I'm going to end it off. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a great day or night whenever the heck you're watching this. And I'll be seeing you all on the flip side. Bye-bye.